Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Persona 5 Tactica, shall we? Alright, well, I actually played Persona 5 and completed it. It was one of the longest games in recent memory that I've played through up there with Dragon Quest XI. took uh, an enormous amount of time, but it was great fun. I love the whole Persona series, and I haven't played the Strikers games, but I am excited to see this because it's like a turn-based strategy, so let's go for it. And we're going to go with uh, Normal. Enter name. Change first and last name. Great. Okay, so we're just going to go Doctor... Doctor in comp. Perfect. Yep. Oh, it's a work of fiction. Now I didn't know that. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. Indeed. Well, I didn't expect to start with John Milton, but here we are. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Rocked, says the anchor woman. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. They're going fast. If I may ask, how much longer do you think you can keep a handle on this? Uh... I was assured I'd be fine, but the flies have already started buzzing around me. Hmm. Oh, there's nothing for you to worry about. This will all be over soon enough. Oh, great. He'd have to defy us to stop us, and we both know that won't happen. It won't? <laughs> That's certainly true. Aha, they say. With that off my mind, trust matters on your own end are proceeding smoothly. Smooth as possible. Indeed. The agreement's going exactly as arranged. All our dreams will be within our reach soon enough. We merely need to hold out for a bit longer. Hmm. Yes. It will truly be a dream when that day comes. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> Oh, they've got some evil laughter coming. All right. So awesome. Back at the coffee shop. We're back. Okay. So, like I said, I didn't play... I don't know if there was DLC for Persona 5. Didn't play it. Didn't play any of the other spin-off games, but... They have certainly changed the art style. I, this isn't chibi because it doesn't have like those big like heads or whatever, but it's definitely um, more of like a childish anime style than the original game. <sighs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Still that bad out? He's fixing some coffee for you. Good. Oh, I'm saved. I was worried we weren't gonna make it for a bit there. I mean, just look at Mona. We do. I'm a shapeshifter. Morgana. Oh boy. I feel my HP coming back. Yeah. Although I think coffee doesn't it give you the, the TP? Anyway, that's fine. Um Need another cup. Got that right. In fact, you're working like you own the place. You planning to force Sojiro to retire or something? Hmm. Hey, got anything for me? Rest assured we do. Oh boy. Yusuke. One of LeBlanc's finest offerings, straight from the source and heated to perfection. Enjoy. 
Now, when I play most of the... I did it for Persona 4 and 5. Many, many games I usually use the Japanese voices and read. But in my experience streaming, even though I personally like the original voices for whatever game I'm playing, I find it too difficult for people who just want to listen uh, unless they, you know, somehow natively speak many languages. But I'm going to use the English voices uh, for that reason. Look how angry Mona is. Oh, thanks, Haru. You know what I like. We know what you like. I'll let it cool a little first, though. This tongue of mine is pretty sensitive. Oh, when it's this cold out, everybody wants to stay inside. Not just the shut-ins. Sojiro spent half the morning grumbling that he won't get any customers today. At first, I was happy we had the place to ourselves, but now I feel kind of bad. Well, we should enjoy what time we have together while we can. All too soon, the third years will graduate. And you'll be returning to your hometown, correct? Oh, don't, don't remind me about that. With that in mind, even our most mundane moments together feel precious in a way. You got that right. Um, we won't be apart for long. That's right. Z O M G. We might end up a little farther away, but we'll still visit each other. That's right. Of course. Even when we're in college, I'll still find time to come see you all. By the way, in case you're wondering, as it's a pretty serious question in these Persona games, you might be wondering which love choice did I make for the main character and I chose for the Joker I don't think she's going to be in this game but there is a uh, she's an older woman she's a doctor and uh, that was my choice yeah we'll make plenty of plans oh like going to the beach yep but didn't we already go to the beach It didn't work out that way, did it? Uh, never learn, Ryuji. I, lo I like the uh, remixed music a lot in this. The music in Persona 5 is so good. In all the, you know, Persona games, really, but... Uh, very, very nice vibes. Perhaps that's the opportunity I've been waiting for. I believe I've designed the perfect swimsuit. Oh, no. Oh no. Please stop making me picture that. Minimum. Oh, I'm sorry if I set that conversation off track. Hmm. You're fine. We've just got an awful lot to look forward to after graduation. Sure do. And why not enjoy the time we have now too? Hit me with another soda. Oh, oh brother. You're the one who could use some self-restraint. And now, our report on Toshiro Kasakabe. The authorities' investigation into the Diet members' apparent disappearance continues. Considered by many to be a strong candidate for Prime Minister, where could he have gone with the election so close? Was it foul play? You tell me. A fair contingent of voters look to him as the fresh new face of national politics, so his absence is concerning. I'm concerned. Since Kasukabe entered the Diet, his support from the public has only grown. It's no surprise that his disappearance has rocked the political world. Rocked. Whether it's due to illness, an accident, or something worse, all we know so far is that rumors are spreading fast. It's interesting to see, like, you know, with this newscast, you notice the man's posture, how he has his hands you know, kind of intertwined there underneath his chin, and he's, like, resting his head on them. 
He's seated doing this. She appears to be standing up. It's a very curious positioning. Man, and that's going crazy about him too. There are at least half a dozen conspiracies at this point. Yep. And they've been covering him quite a bit on television lately. Lots of future prime minister speculation. Someone like that suddenly disappearing. I really hope there isn't more trouble brewing. Well, me too. We're doing it now. I don't know anything about the guy, but maybe he's just dealing with some family stuff. I like the meta commentary, by the way. As the investigation continues. Uh oh. That's like a Persona 4 TV trick. Artist got knocked out. Huh? Oh. What the what? Wow. Oh, he's it's not knocked frozen. out. No, it's frozen in place. Uh, is that a gear and a bullet? Yeah. I'm not sure, but it's completely dark at us well. Mm hmm This eerie sensation. I hesitate to say it, but could we have entered the metaverse? Feels meta. It can't be. I mean, there's no way. It was... Yeah. And the meta nav should be gone entirely. Not only that, I still look the same, and so do you. That's true. And what the hell's going on? Um, what happened out there? Yeah, it's still too dark to see out there. Shit, I've got a bad feeling. Don't use that bad language. Yeah, there's a mysterious symbol hovering in the light. I was gonna say, it's like a... A gear bullet. The door. It's glowing. Sure is. This is just Sojiro pulling our leg. Oh, please tell me I'm right. I don't know. Well, I, I guess all we can do is... Open it? Open it up. Looks like it. Here. She doesn't look too enthused. Okay, try the door, but be careful. We'll be right behind you. Wait, why don't you try it? I don't like this. Oh, there's my costume. I'm a shapeshifter. What? Where the hell are we? We were just in LeBlanc, right? This has to be bad. Oh, we're in our phantom thief outfits. Oh. My goodness. It's like penguin hat people. What's going on here? Wow. Musketeers. Nice. No problem. We're actually pleased to be spotted. All right, let's see what this combat's all about. Who are these people? Don't know, dude. No idea. But if they're attacking us, our only choice is fighting back. Let's split up and take them on. 
Split it. All right. Yep. Defeat all enemies. Okay. You bet. Bring it. We'll teach you not to mess with the Phantom Thieves. Hey. Don't charge in recklessly, Skull. These enemies are packing heat. They really are. They have bayoneted colonial muskets. We'll be sitting ducks out here in the open. We need to find some cover. Joker, try taking cover over there. Movement and cover. You can move anywhere within your movement range freely. If you end your turn hiding behind cover, such as a wall or other obstacle, you will resist enemy attacks, eliminating or reducing the damage taken. Bear in mind, enemy units can take cover as well. All right, so we're going to find out, is this more of an XCOM 2 or is this more of a Mario versus Rabbids situation. Oh, okay, I can actually walk around. Uh, perfect position, you should be safe. That's interesting. You still got a clear line of sight on an enemy, right? Light him up, Joker. Ranged attacks. Fire ranged attacks by pushing X. Uh, by the way, I am playing on PC using Xbox PC Game Pass, and I'm using a gamepad. A red line indicates any target that you can hit while a black line indicates any target that cannot be hit from your position. Okay. I can hit this guy. So, you know, usually in these kind of turn-based strategy games, you can see my field of movement, the white outline, and it's usually like a grid-based thing, like if you're playing Fire Emblem, something like that. But this is more um, where you can move kind of like War Tales. Yeah, you know, XCOM... Alright, let's go for it. Gun. So, I'm going to do 32. It's not even going to come close to killing this guy. Um, now, what I don't see is a percent chance to hit. I'm going to just pretend like this is a 100% chance to hit. Unless the 32 was chance to hit. or I only did 14 damage. Alright, so Morgana. And we'll go here. Or maybe that's the life I will leave them at. All right, let's do this. And we'll go over here. Whoa. Skull's got a shotgun. Well, why wouldn't he? Looks like that shot would have hurt. But it can't hit us behind here. Just don't get antsy and jump out of cover. Got it? Blocking. When a unit takes cover behind a large object, all ranged attacks from the front and the sides will be blocked and the unit will take no damage. Use this to gain an advantage and maintain it in battles. I like how the enemies are like, we're moving behind the bad cover. Ryuji says, okay, who's ready to see me light up this one? Hold on, Skull. That enemy is hiding behind cover. Any shots won't be very effective. So first, I gotta get him out in the open. Both of you watch me. Okay, so this is cover. Melee attacks. Perform melee attacks by pressing A when you're close enough to an enemy unit. You will knock them back away from you, and you will end your action on the square where they originally stood. That's interesting. A unit that has been hit with a melee attack will lose their resistance and become defenseless for the remainder of the turn. Ouch! So this is very much following the traditional model of Persona Battle where you do an elemental weakness to expose the enemy and do extra damage, get extra turns. So this must be how you do that. I don't know if there's elemental attacks in this or not. We'll find out, but I'm going to move up here. Now what I, no I am noticing is like I can freely move as much as I want on my turn. I'm sure there's a limit, but... It's not like going back and forth like this is taking movement points or anything like that. So anyway, um, I'm going to go around here and we'll attack. And yeah. 
So I punch it. And I... Brilliant, if I do say so myself. Now the enemy is defenseless. Take him out, Joker. Alright. One more. When you hit targets that are unable to resist your attacks, you'll down them. You're then given an opportunity to act. This is called a one more. So this is how you do the one more. You set it up. During a one more, if you down a target, you'll receive another one more. Try consecutively downing targets to keep your turn going as long as possible. I love it. All right. Let's do it. All right. So they want me to move over here behind cover and then shoot right here. Crit. Yes, all according to plan. Now to finish the job. One more shot. Ought to do it, Joker. All right. So we got the one more. Fire. Down. Uh-oh. They just keep coming, don't they? So basically, we just need to blow them out of cover and then we can start to show them who's boss, right? You got it, Skull. Our teamwork is more important than ever now, understand? Joker, I'm passing command over to you. Make sure you keep a cool head and assess the situation. I will. Ending your turn. You can end your turn at any time by pressing Start. The ability to skip actions as specific units can deepen your strategies. So make effective use of this. Alright. Alright, so do I, I want to end the turn? Or do I want... Like, he can't actually move to the right spot. And I don't know if there's a turn order. And I don't know if I end his turn but don't do anything. If it'll... Like, if you can cycle between your people. Um, but I, I want to move him up. Alright, so luckily they... What I don't know is if I would have ended the turn with Skull or Ryuji, uh, Ryuji if that would have, like, had the same result, that the enemies would have gone, or if it would have cycled back to me. Now, in the bottom right, I can see that all of my people have an action, so that means they still get to, to go if I end the turn, so maybe that wasn't there before. Um, it wouldn't really make sense if it, if it were, but anyway, uh, we're going to go out, and I'm going to punch this guy. So he kind of actually hit the, a target that I wasn't expecting, but we can crit the guy, and we're just going to crit, blast that guy, and then that did not give me a one more. Okay, so I was thinking, um, what I should have done is maybe knock them both out, and then had Ryuji keep shooting them, but I'm not sure if that how that goes, but anyway. Um, I think I just shoot and stay in cover. He died. He died anyway. Victory. All right. We got 80 money. Ooh, I didn't get the award. That's embarrassing. Oh boy. I think that does it. What the heck's the deal with those guys? I got a feeling they're not exactly shadows. Hmm. I don't know. Same goes for where we are now. We found the rebels. Rebels. Dubious soldiers. Uh oh, there's a lot of them. All right.
defeat all enemies. Alright, this time I'm up first. I'll show you the power of my persona. Using skills in battle by pressing Y. Skills are not affected by obstacles, and attacking with them will eliminate the resistance of any enemy unit's hit. However, skills will cost you SP. Alright, I guess I'll shock this guy. Take that. We sure do. Alright. Swept away. He actually didn't die. Ailments. There are certain attacks that afflict ailments and other effects onto targets. Consult the tutorial potion of the pause menu while in battle for more details as they can be vital to turning a battle in your favor. Alright then. Did you see that? Check out my power. And you can tell, obviously, now that you have those skills, yes, there are status ailments. You swept them away, all right. The rest is up to you, Joker. Take them out. All right, they want me to move up here and then use my persona, Despair. Wow. Seems pretty good. Look at my stovepipe. All right, we almost raised up to level two, or level three. All right, well, we got all the rewards. That was an easy one. Or cool. Lady Marie? Where's the cat bus? Marie? Oh. Uh, that's a tank with spike wheels. Oh my. Well, are you ready to join me for the rest of your life? Uh, no? She's like a drum major who's getting married. Oh my gosh, she, it says just married. This isn't good. No, we're trapped. We can't even fight at full power. At this rate, we are the servants of the Lady Marie. She grants us our power and we obey. There's just too many. Guys, run! Uh, hang on, I'm coming.
Thanks for the assist, Skull. It's almost like there's no end to them. We're getting nowhere at this rate. This is not looking good. Joker, go ahead and lend him a hand. We've got it over here. Skull behind you. Uh... Go, go. Uh, did you just issue me an order? Do you not know how things work around here? Nope. Joker, just take her out. Don't worry about me. Oh, my. These mannerless little brats. Everything to make me sick. In that case, I've got just a thing for you. What's that? isn't good it's all bad Damn it, get your mitts off of me. you may be crude but you have quite an interesting power don't you quite a mouth on you care to see what i can do with mine <laughs> Uh Congratulations. You now serve me. Now, your first order is to kill those rebels. That's not good. As you wish me. With pleasure. Go, oh, what happened to you? This is terrible. We don't want to fight back, but we can't hurt him. Ryuji left the party. Oh, God. Defeat all enemies except Skull. Holy smokes. Let's take down the rest of the enemies first. Be careful of Skull's attacks. When you're behind cover, you'll automatically resist attacks, taking a reduced amount of damage. Enemy units can also take cover, so use melee attacks and ailment-inflicting skills to break their resistance. Well, I think this is a good place to stop this first episode. We'll get into battling Ryuji, but I want to know what you guys think about this game so far. I mean, granted, it's a lot of exposition as we get the story, but have you played this yet? Have you seen stuff? Does this look good? Are you interested in the game from what you see so far? Did you enjoy Persona 5? Would you like me to see, uh, to play more of this game? Please tell me what you think in the comments below. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.